Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to disable your taxes on BigCommerce. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer and a store owner just like you. And let me show you my screen and I'll show you where to find it. So where you're going to go is to settings and then tax. And this gets you into your tax settings. Now, before I show you guys this, I just want to make sure that you know I'm not a tax advisor, but this is probably a bad idea. You, even if you're in a state like Oregon, you know, where my, where my primary business is, just because you don't have taxes in that state does not mean that you don't have a requirement to collect taxes when people purchase in other states. Uh, in the past, people have not needed to do that, but there's been a lot of uh, court cases recently that are pushing the, the country and the world to have taxation be where people make their purchases. And so just be aware that not having tax in your state doesn't mean that you don't have to collect taxes in other states. But disclaimer aside, let me show you how to do this. First of all, when you come into taxes, there is Avalara Avatax, and this is a service that you can use. It's free unless you use certain pieces of their service. So most of my clients always use Avalara Avatax. But the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to disable tax. Here's the thing. You cannot disable tax, but you can set your tax to zero. And so the way to do that, first of all, don't install Avalara Avatax if you don't want to charge taxes. Instead, you're going to go down here to tax rules and uh, it'll probably say this same exact thing on your end. Uh, click on edit and you'll come in here and it'll say, you know, basic taxes enabled. Uh, if it doesn't say enabled, it'll say enabled when you're done saving this. And there's not much to do here. If you click into tax classes, there's nothing that you need to do here. But if you click into tax rates and zones, you do have to do something here. So there's a default zone. And if you haven't launched your store yet, you need to come in here and go to, uh, let's see, edit settings. Okay, either one to take you to the same same spot. It's either settings tab or tax rates tab. And the settings tab, you don't have to do anything differently here. You can read what's here, but nobody ever really changes this stuff. But the tax rates, if you click in there, you can see that there is no tax rate set and there has to be a tax rate. So what you can do is add a tax rate, call it 0% or whatever you want to call it, and just just mark zeros and that's it. Click enable this tax rate and save. Now your store is not going to charge people tax, but you have to, you have to have a tax rate set because in checkout, it has to know how much you want to charge, even if that number is zero. So this is how you do it. Um, again, I really recommend using Avalara Avatax. It is, you know, best in class, gonna save your butt, super cheap. Um, if you guys are just getting started, be sure to check out my course up there and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. You know, I make these videos to help you guys out. So the more you guys tell me, the more I can help you. All right. Thanks so much.